What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here. Before we get into it, I actually feel a lot better. I'm not really that sick anymore. I feel about 85% now, so um, probably by tomorrow I'll feel perfectly fine, but for now I'm, I actually feel really good. Also guys, if you haven't found out, we actually do have a Facebook page now, so please go and like the page. There's going to be a lot of stuff that I do through that page that'll be somewhat exclusive, and on top of everything else, it'll let me connect with you guys a little bit easier, and there's some stuff that I have planned for that, so definitely go and like the Facebook page if you want to. I'm not really forcing you, but it would be really nice if you did, because I it would be another way for me to communicate with you guys so yeah well guys looks like we have some really really big news the impossible has finally happened the Nintendo 3DS has finally been hacked to the extent upon which a flash card has been developed for it which does play 3DS ROMs now I know what you're thinking oh um, we've seen this before of course it's probably a scam most likely well not exactly take a look at this GBA temp which as most of you may know is the forefront of the 3DS hacking community basically 3d um, GBA temp is basically the most when it comes to hacking of the 3DS and homebrew and such they are 100% legit and have come up with most of the ways of how the 3DS or rather the regular DS has been hacked in the past GBA temp has officially confirmed that this new flash card which does play 3DS ROMs is 100% legit my friends it is known as the gateway 3DS which is going to be the first ever flash card to play 3DS ROMs now some of you also may know that 3DS ROMs have been dumped well it's been confirmed that they are able to be dumped now but there's just no way to play them until the Gateway 3DS. Now there are some important things that you guys need to know about this flash card because since it is the first generation of the 3DS flash cards, it's not exactly going to have all the um all the flexibility of those 3D, of the regular DS flash cards that we know of, such as the Ace Card 2i and the um, SuperCard DS2. So let me read down this list of important information that you guys should know about this new flash card coming out very, very soon. First off, it is not compatible with the latest firmware on the 3DS. So, for example, the version 6 firmware that's on the 3DS right now, the most recent one that's released, it so far is not confirmed to be compatible with that. So do not upgrade your firmware to version 6.0 just yet. They are saying that the, uh, the Gateway 3DS will be able to work past firmware updates due to upgradable software downloads, but it's not 100% confirmed that it works for version 6.0 right now. So don't upgrade your 3DS to the latest firmware if you don't have to. The next thing is that the, the, uh, the Gateway 3DS supports all 3DS ROMs and backups up to date. So anything that comes out in the future, they're not 100% sure, but the support team is actually very, very strong for the Gateway 3DS right now. So most likely it will support future games. So technically you will be able to play Pokemon X and Y on this thing. The Gateway 3DS has the exact same format as the DS flashcards. It's basically a card which you just put a little like, micro SD inside of, and then it'll basically play the games. The only thing is that it's limited because with the functionality and how it works on the 3DS you can only use one micro SD for one ROM and use that with the gateway 3DS you can't have multiple ROMs of 3DS games on your micro SD card and use them all at the same time with the um, gateway 3DS because it recognizes each micro SD card as an individual game and it can't multi load right now because it is the first generation so of course there will be limits but the fact that we can play 3DS ROMs is astonishing in the first place. Also, there is no homebrew on the Gateway 3DS. It can play online games. However, it cannot run regular DS ROMs, so you're going to be limited to using 3DS ROMs only. This is probably a restriction that I hopefully get. They get. I hopefully hope that they get over one day. But um, right now, you can only play 3DS ROMs on it. And the final bang about all of this is that it's is going to sell for about $80. Now, when you consider how much the first generation flashcards on the regular DS were selling for, this is an amazing price, especially considering 3DS functionality. $80 is a steal for a flashcard on the 3DS right now, especially considering that they're the only ones that have the ability to do so, therefore they have a monopoly on it. They could easily charge whatever they want to for this thing, but making it $80 is a pretty damn good price, considering that you'll be able to play every 3DS game that ever came out without paying for it, or your backups, excuse me, you're not playing ROMs, you're playing your backups of the games that you had, you know? Of course. <laughs> now here's the most interesting tidbit of information. The Gateway 3DS is scheduled to come out July 3rd. 13th through 14th, either July 13th or 15th, but the thing is, is that Gateway had delayed the release of the product 
from late June. It was going to come out late June, but they de delayed the release of it simply because they wanted to work on the firmware of the device to make it work for firmware 6.0 on the 3DS. We're not sure if it's successful or not, but Gateway 3DS has been very, very adamant on keeping up with their customer service inquiries. So they said that they would let everybody know an update by the end of the week, letting us know if it is going to work for version 6.0 of the firmware of the 3DS or not. So very interesting information there, but do not update anyways because you never know. But yeah, so they had delayed the progress and the release of the card in hopes of getting it to work with 6.0. So we will see if that is the case or not. Finally, the most important thing, as excited as I was to get my hands on this as soon as possible and to pre-order, they are specifically saying on the 3DS Gateway website, do not pre-order, along with GBA Temp. The reason why is because there are still trials that need to be done here. Even though the release date is soon, there are still many things that are up in the air. And there are so many retailers online right now who are going to have the product that are just taking people's money right now. We don't know what could happen, and Gateway 3DS has acknowledged this as well. It is 100% legit, but they don't want people to somehow lose their money. So Gateway 3DS has specifically said, do not pre-order this flashcard until they give you the A-OK -okay on their website or through their customer service representatives to go ahead and use it, or rather to go ahead and pay for this device. I can totally understand that because things can happen, you know? That's why I'm going to be a little hesitant with spending my money, but I definitely want to get my hands on this first iteration because it looks like one amazing device. In terms of what I think, this is a massive landmark here. The 3DS has finally been hacked, my friends. This means that Pokemon X and Y uh, as much as Nintendo wanted to avoid it getting hacked, at this point now, there's really nothing stopping it. I mean, especially once this software, or rather this hardware, gets in the hands of other companies like Supercard DS2 and such, then we could possibly see some next generation iterations that'll really push the 3DS hacking scene to its absolute ultimate potential because right now this is first generation you know and I guess Gateway 3DS acknowledges that it's really lucky that I was able to get the first generation iteration of the flashcards for the 3DS but I'm really interested in seeing what R4 is going to do what Supercard is going to do and with those guys working on it I'm guaranteeing you that we're going to see some pretty fancy iterations of hacking on the 3DS especially when you consider homebrew coming in there but the fact that the 3DS has been hacked right now is incredible so this pretty much makes it so that um, maybe you you won't even need to get a capture card in the future to record your Pokemon X and Y gameplay. Either way, I'm definitely going to get my hands on one of these so you guys can expect a full review from me very soon on the Gateway 3DS uh, hacking card, flash card, because it's such an interesting purchase. So um, I'm going to definitely keep you guys updated with this news, but tell me what you think. Do you think this spells out the victory for the 3DS or do you think it spells out the 3DS's doom? I want to know what you guys think. What do you think that the inclusion of a flash card now for 3DS ROMs means for the 3DS? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think because I really want to know. I'll be responding to stuff all, as usual as much as I can throughout the day and because um, I, I really want to see what you guys think. But hey man, let me know. Anyways guys, thank you for tuning in. Another iteration of the Etiquette World Network. Take care of yourselves and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.